Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you ATP Microsoft Teams how to create a reminder to reply to a specific message in Microsoft Teams. In the past, I forgot sometimes to reply to a message received. To avoid that, I decided to create a workflow in Microsoft Teams. In this video, I walk you through every step to create a workflow easily in Microsoft Teams that remind to yourself after some time to reply to a specific message. Every user can set up this easy workflow. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in Microsoft Teams, I am in the chat, and here I have a message that I forgot to reply. Let me click on it. And in this specific message where I have to fill out this survey, for example, I'm going to click on top on the three dots and then more actions. Here I'm going to create my action, then create new action. This opens the workflow via Power Automate panel and here I can create my action, which is in this case, follow up on a message. Let me click on it. This is delivered by Microsoft. So I can now define a name. Remind me to reply and let's click on add workflow. Now that my flow is just created, I can close the panel and I can test it immediately. Going here on this specific message and clicking again on the three dots, I should be able right now to have the new action follow up on a message. This is the one, the previous one that I created, but the new one is this. Remind me to reply. Let me click on this one. Now I can select a date. When do you want to be reminded about the message? Let me select this one. I'm going to set today. And then I'm going to set 20, let's say 42. So here I can add some notes. If I want, I will keep it blank. And then I can click on the button submit. Now that this thing is scheduled, I have just to wait that the remind lands. I just received my notification, remind me to reply. And here I have something coming from the flow. Your flow is ready to be run. That was a previous, a previous message. But in the activity right now, I have now my message. Reminder for message sent. And this is the link to the message that I have. This means that directly from here, from the feed and from this notification, I can open the chat and reply to the user. Now, let me show you an alternative way that you have to set up this reminder. You can open the Power Automate app that you have in Teams and here you have also an overview of all your flows that you have created. Down below you have several templates and we have exactly the one that I used before, follow up on a message. You can click on the button New Flow in the upper right corner to set up a new workflow. In this case I can click again on follow up on a message and this will create another workflow. Now let me click on home so I can access to the overview. And here I have the workflow just created. Clicking on the three dots, I have more options. I can even edit this workflow directly in Teams through the app Power Automate. This is pretty cool. And here I have the workflow just created. So I have every step inside. This means that you can customize this workflow as you want, you can add additional steps. This is the trigger for a selected message. Then there is a initialized variable. This is delay until time. Another variable for notes. Here there is a condition. If notes is, uh, is empty, then the variable set the value. Then again, here I have another condition, convert time zone. This is very important. It converts the time to your local time zone, of course. Get the user profile information on Microsoft 365. Delay until, and this is the date that you set during the action that you are going to set to a specific message. And then finally, there is a condition that post, that post the message directly in a channel or in the activity feed of Microsoft Teams. That's it, this is the workflow, but you can customize as I mentioned as you prefer. 
All right, we have seen in this video how to create a reminder in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like and put a comment down below. I am curious to know what do you think about this feature. Stay tuned and I hope to see you next time. Bye.